guys welcome back to our channel so today I'm going to show you guys what is in my hospital bag and also what is in baby cruises bags about that time we got to get these bags together I finally just put like the last minute stuff in there Darius still hasn't packed his bag hopefully he does it tonight I mean of course he doesn't have to put too much in there but at least we want it at least by the door and when it gets a little bit closer depending how my doctor's appointments go then we'll start putting it in the car the only reason why I don't want to put it in the car now is because there's like some toiletries in there and it's really hot outside so I don't want it to like melt inside the car. By the door is perfectly fine for now. So tomorrow will be 37 weeks so this is the perfect time for me to have my bags ready and for you guys to have your bags ready if you're around the same time. Now I can say that with Mackenzie, I, I've been packed. Like everything was already done with Mackenzie. For some reason this time around, we've been a little bit slower. It kind of creeped up on us. We like still need to put the car seat inside the car. We're probably gonna do that really soon because we gotta go to the fire department to get it securely inside the car because I don't wanna go by the instructions and do it myself. Because even with Mackenzie's car seat, I we went to the police station and they actually did it. That was when we was in Florida. But here we heard that the fire department does it, so that's what we're planning on doing. So let me show you guys what I got in my hospital bag. So I have everything packed into this luggage. Ain't nothing fancy or cute. I mean, I've seen a lot of what's in my hospital bag videos. They had like cute duffel bags and stuff. The luggage is perfectly fine. So if you guys have a small luggage, like you're not gonna be there forever. So small luggage is perfectly fine. So I know it look, looks like it's not gonna close, but it is gonna close. I just have, I just threw like my last minute stuff on top of here, but I'm still using some stuff. So that's why I have like a list of like last minute things to throw in there when the time is ready. First thing I have in there are some flip flops. Just some basic flip flops, just so I can feel comfortable. I don't know if my feet are gonna be hot or cold, so that's why I put these flip flops in there. And then I also have my other slippers that are more cozy and comfy, so I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling at the hospital, so that's why I'm bringing both options just in case. The next thing I have are my toiletries. This bag I got from TJ Maxx. This is probably one of my favorite things. I usually put my makeup in here, but I put my toiletries in here for this time around. So it has three little sections and it has a little hook. If you guys travel, this is really comes in handy so you can like hook it up somewhere in like the hotel room and you can have all your stuff displayed right there instead of like digging for stuff. So this is really cool. The first things that I have on the top is just like a toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, and some wet cleansing towelettes. This is probably what I'll use if I have like makeup or anything on my face just to like clean my face. All these toiletries I got from Target. Next section I have is hand sanitizer, lotion, some face wash, and some Olay body wash. So I made sure I got a body wash that like smells good just so like after birth and when once I can take a shower I can like feel nice and clean and refreshed after you know going through labor and delivering a baby. So I was just like let me get something that smells good so I can feel good and I can like you know Feel refreshed after. The last section that I have here is more of like my breastfeeding stuff. So let me show you. I'm sure the hospital is gonna have nursing pads, but since I already have these like two samples already, so I'm just like let me just throw it in there just in case. So this is just like the Medela kind, and it has like four pads in each. Not sure if I'm gonna need it, but I'd rather have it just in case. Also have this Lancino Latch Assist Nipple Everter with protective case. Now this is something new, I never tried it before. With Mackenzie I had trouble getting her to latch on because I do have flat nipples. So I ended up exclusively pumping for six months. I had oversupply, donated to two moms, like it was crazy. So this time I'm really dedicated and to getting this baby to latch on and exclusively breastfeed. I don't wanna do pumping as much, you know, pumping for relief, okay, but since I'm gonna be home most of the time and with the baby, I want to strictly nurse, so I'm very determined this time to be successful at breastfeeding just to get the baby to latch. So this is why I bought this latch assist nipple inverter. I know with Mackenzie, I didn't even know there was like different types of nipples out there. So I was like kind of clueless because no, no one in my family breastfed before. So I was kind of like, you know, researching and learning things as I go. I wish I had this back then. So this is kind of cool. So a few women out there that are first time moms and you're, you know, don't know too much about breastfeeding. There are different types of nipples. So if you have a flat nipple or an inverted nipple, like I think this will help you a lot. 
So it's kind of like a little pump like this and you just put it in your nipple so it can come out a little bit more so the baby can latch on. And it's cool because it comes with two shield sizes. So depending on how big your nipples are, so it comes with both and it comes with a cute case. So it's cool to travel with. Another thing I have packed are these Medela nipple shields. It comes with a case too. When I was breastfeeding with Mackenzie, I had no idea what a nipple shield was. So this is why I'm telling you guys I'm being prepared this time. So these are how the nipple shields look. And I like that it comes with a case, so it's cool. And this one is a size 21mm. Another thing for you first time moms, there are different shield sizes. When I was breastfeeding with Mackenzie, you know, I was still clueless about shields and all this other stuff. But when it comes to your breast pump, usually it comes with like a 24mm nipple shield, depending on how like your, big your nipples are and stuff like that. But when I was pumping, like they were hurting. So then I started doing research and I realized I had to go a size down. So I had to order it on Amazon uh, 21mm. So I bought a whole new set for my breast pump this time. So definitely look into that, do some more research with breastfeeding. But if you guys have any questions about anything about breastfeeding, just leave a comment down below and I'll answer you guys. Another thing I have in my bag is lanolin cream. This is just like a small travel size that came with my full size, the lancinol kind. And I'm sure the hospital will have some nipple cream too, but I'm just bringing this just because I have it. And then I also bought this mother love nipple cream as well. I heard it was really good, so I just ordered it on Amazon. So I'm just trying out both and see which one I like. I know with Mackenzie, I used the Lancinol and like the Medela brand. They were okay. They kind of the Medela kind kind of smells like A and D ointment to me. But I don't know if they recently like changed the scent or anything like that. So I just heard that the Mother's Love one is like really really good. Everyone loves it. So I was just like, let me just try it out. So this is why I'm just gonna put it in my bag and see which ones I like. And the last thing in my toiletry bag is this Wish Garden After Ease. Herbal Dietary Supplement for Pregnancy. Now, to be honest, I don't know too much about this. I saw it in another hospital bag video. It was Miss um, Liza. She said she didn't know too much about it either, but she heard a lot of good reviews about it. And I was looking on Amazon. This is where I got it from Amazon. It has so many good reviews about after delivery. So after delivery, you know, you're still gonna have contractions. You're still gonna be in pain for, you know, a couple days. So on the back it says, relaxing herbs to ease after birth discomforts. Suggested use two to four droppers full in water. Repeat if needed for desired effect. Now, it's not open, but I like smell it like it's like a berry. Unless that's just how the plastic smells. I'm not too sure to open it yet. So I don't want to open it until I get there. Plus I want to see what the midwife says about this. All the reviews on Amazon say how much they love it, how much it works. Not one negative comment. So I was just like, okay, let me try this out. Because I remember after having Mackenzie and trying to pump and breastfeed, like I was in a lot of pain. So I was just like, okay, like let me just try this out. So that is all that's in my toiletry bag. Now I also have my makeup bag. Now this is like my last minute makeup bag. So this is still going to stay in my bathroom until I'm, we're ready to leave. So because these are like my go-tos. Now I'm not completely sure if I'm going to like do my makeup. I'm not one of those people that's going to do their makeup before labor or things like that. Like that's not important to me. But for like hospital pictures and like pictures we're going to take after birth, I want to look somewhat okay. I don't want any dark circles or anything like that. So I want to... Make sure I have my concealer and my basic just so I can do like a basic face, no eyeshadow, simple eyeliner. So this is what I'm packing. Another thing I'm bringing that also the hospital has, but I bought this because I heard good reviews about it, is the Frida Baby Frigid, the mom washer. Now as you see, I got it on sale at Target because it was only like $7. I know they're originally usually like $20, I believe. You guys watched my baby registry must have one of the things was the Frida the Frida no sucker thing so this is the same brand so I was just like okay let me try it out and this is the postpartum angled peri bottle now the hospitals do give you peri bottles but this is a little bit different just so funny like on the back it says pack in your hospital bag you won't want to forget this trust us it gets messy yeah it does <laughs> So it comes in this bag, which is really cool, nice and sanitary. And it says, trust us, your vagina will thank you. 
So it's basically like this. You put the water in there. It's a nice soft bottle. Close it up. And this is more for you to rinse yourself because since you can't wipe after delivery and if you have stitches and stuff like that, so this is more to like cl cleanse yourself down there. And then you just pop this straight up and then you just squeeze so it's angled. So like the other peri bottles that the hospital gives is just like just regular like a straight up like water bottle and you have to like spray up to try to get it to clean or you can kind of do it in an angle but it's not too comfortable so this is why this is here. So it's like a lot easier to clean yourself. And it's kind of like a little shower head. So of course I don't necessarily need this, but I want to try it out. And since we have an upstairs and downstairs bathroom, this will come in handy for when wherever I'm at with the baby and when I have to clean myself. So this is why I got this. The next things I have in my bag are two nursing bras. I'm planning on wearing this bra first. If you guys watched our birth plan video, you would know I am having an unmedicated birth this time around. This is the bra that I'm planning on laboring in just because it's comfortable, it's breathable, and it won't get like stuck to me. Cause you know, I might labor in the shower, I might labor in the birthing tub, and things like that, so I will get wet. So I don't want anything tight on me as in like a shirt that's gonna be like hard for me to take off when it's like soaking wet. So I'm just gonna wear this nursing bra right here. I'm bringing a backup nursing bra too. Both of these are from Motherhood Maternity. They had a sale a couple months ago. They were like $8 each, so I bought four. So these are the two that I'm just taking with me. I'm also bringing some granny panties. <laughs> I'm probably not going to wear these in the hospital, I'm not sure, I'm just bringing them just in case, but I really like the mesh underwear that they give you at the hospital. I remember with Mackenzie, I like took a whole bunch home, so like those come in handy because you don't want to like ruin your other panties, but those are, these are panties that I wouldn't care if they got like messed up or stuff like that, so I'm just bringing three pairs just in case. I'm also bringing a towel and a washcloth, so when I do take a shower there. Another thing I have in my hospital bag are these nursing gowns that I got from Amazon. They were actually a two pack and it comes with black and it came with a navy blue. So I really wanted something that I'll be comfortable in. It's not that cute. I know there's like cuter ones they sell in motherhood maturity and shops and stuff like that. But this was like the most affordable. I think it was like both of these. And it also came with like a little like laundry bag that you can like put your bras in and like wash it. Um, just so like it won't get messed up and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not really gonna use that, but so both all that together came out to about I think like forty dollars or forty two dollars. These are really comfortable. I washed them already, they're nice and stretchy, and they're a good length, so they're not too short. Just so I don't have to wear their their gowns. I mean, I can't wear their gowns, but I just wanted something a little bit cuter. So I have these, and these just snap down. Also bought this black robe, as you guys saw in my vlog for my 36 week appointment so this is for this to go together so I can like take cute pictures with the baby with like a matching outfit. Another thing I have in the bag are these slipper socks just in case it has the little rubber things on the bottom just so I don't slip and fall but they do also give this at the hospital but I'm just bringing mine just in case but I, I probably end up using the hospital version just so it's a little bit less laundry. And then I'm also bringing my green dress that I showed you guys at my 36 week appointment video. So this is my maxi dress that I'm going to wear coming home. So with another nursing bra just in case or to wear with that dress. So this one's from Motherhood and Maternity and it's no wire. So if you guys don't know, if you're planning on breastfeeding, don't get underwire bras because that can cause like clogged ducts and stuff like that. And plus they're really uncomfortable as you keep growing because you think you're big now, your boobs are going to get way bigger when you're breastfeeding. And then I'm bringing just a basic like pajama shirt and some shorts just in case I don't want I don't want to wear those nursing gowns just so I can be comfortable. So I'm just bringing this just in case too. It all depends how I feel. So I'm bringing options. I'm also bringing this book, this baby book that I got from Target. It was only $3. So cute. I know I had a baby book with Mackenzie, but to be honest, like I didn't really write in there cuz you know when you're come a mom, you have all these baby books like, "Oh yeah, I'm going to write down everything." And then I forget. So at least this was only $3. I just really wanted this because of the, I have like a little paper in here so I know um, where it's at. But 
This is for to put his footprints and his handprints. And this is the main reason why I got this book, just so I can have his footprints and his handprints here. I know in Mackenzie's baby book, we brought it with us and they did the footprints and handprints and everything like that, just so I can keep it and have a nice place for it. But this book was only $3, so you guys need to go to the dollar section right now at Target because they actually have a lot of baby shower stuff, a lot of baby related stuff for a good price. This is really cool to have and to jot down all the memories throughout the months. And also in the back it talks about like your first Halloween, your first Thanksgiving, like all the important holidays with a picture and stuff like that. So I'm excited for this. I also have in my bag this little bag of letters to go with my letter board. I am bringing my letter board with me just so I can take cute pictures of him like in his little nursery crib and stuff like that. So I pre-filled it just so it's a little bit easier. So I have his name ready. I put like a and PM whenever he's gonna be born. Pounds, ounces, Kenzie's been touching this. <laughs> Inches, however long he's gonna be. And I put some random numbers here if he's born in May, don't know. Born in June. If he's born in his due date, the third and um, 19 and then I have all the other letters in here just so I can fill it in and take these pictures other things in my bag is probably like Important papers that you have to bring the day of delivery So definitely have your important papers in your bag now or beforehand just so you don't forget So remember any papers you got to bring that the doctor requires you to have or your insurance requires you to have Just have in your bag so you won't forget it now I also have another bag <laughs> So of course I have my luggage with like all my clothes and stuff like that. But this bag, I made it to be my, what can I say? My labor bag maybe, to my labor relief bag. So in here I have all the things in here that will help me throughout labor, throughout my unmedicated birth. And these are suggestions from the doula and from online and midwives and things like that. So this is what I packed in here to help with labor pain. So one thing I have is this pool noodle. I cut it, not even a half, I cut like a small section of it. I just got it from the Dollar Tree. So this helps with um, back labor. So this will help like with my, lo my, with my lower back and Darius can like roll it on my lower back. So this is one thing that I have. This fan and it's like a water mist spray too. I got this from Target. So on the bottom, you just fill it up with water. Just because you're gonna go through different stages of labor, so you might be cold, you might be hot. So this is definitely one that I might be hot. And it comes with like a little button right here with a fan. And just turn it off. And it has a little trigger back here for, for a nice mist spray. So bring in this just in case. This was about $10 at Target. This Beats pill, there's this Beats pill with the charger. I did make a labor playlist. So my labor playlist consists of, you know, like different music, like mostly R&B, just so it can like, so it can be more relaxed. Midwife said don't put anything that's gonna make you fall asleep. You know, you wanna feel good. Positive vibes, you know, music that gives you like positive vibes that gets you through anything. Another thing I have is this rice sock. My doula actually gave this to me, but you can make it yourself. It literally just has like rice in here inside of a sock. And this is more like a heating pad. I know de depending on your hospital, some hospitals don't allow this. Um, but you just heat it up inside the microwave for a little bit. You don't want to burn yourself. Or you can wrap it up in like another t-shirt and then put it on your back. I've been using this throughout my pregnancy um, like for my regular back pains or when I get like leg cramps and stuff like that. So this is like the easiest and cheapest way to make a heating pad. I also have these honey sticks. Now I didn't know what a honey stick was until my doula was talking about it. And this is basically like, just like a stick with honey in it. And I guess it's usually for people that's on the go, that you know likes tea and things like that. And it just comes like this. She said this comes in handy during labor when you need that like a little pick me up just so you can have that sugar in you. So this is why I bought this. I bought this on Amazon. Darius already been eating these. I'm just like, excuse me, I need this for labor. But like the doula is just like, well, you're probably only gonna need about like three or four. But I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Maybe I might want all of them. I don't know. <laughs> and the last thing I have is this thing. Now this <laughs> This is actually the bag that came with the nursing gown. So this is like the little washing to put in the washing machine. But I decided to use this bag to put my diffuser. 
So this is a diffuser that I just got from Walmart. I'm gonna have this diffuser going on while I'm in labor and I have lavender oil. Another thing I'm bringing to the hospital is this cooler full of beer. No, I'm just kidding. I'm bringing this cooler because if you guys watched our birth plan video, you would know that I'm doing placenta encapsulation. So I need somewhere to put my placenta. So my parents let me borrow their cooler, thank you. And here I have Ziploc bags, freezer bags. My lady that's gonna do the placenta encapsulation wants us to double bag the placenta. And these are extra bags just to put ice in there and just to surround the placenta with ice. Our hospital, we have to take the placenta out of the hospital within four hours. The cool thing about this is that my placenta lady, she's actually gonna do it in our house so we can watch her do it. I know there's an option that I can have like my sister come and like let her do it right away. Some people want it done right away. Um, I know that the placenta is good in the cooler for about 24 hours. For the safety standards for the placenta, it's like two hours at room temperature, 24 hours in the cooler with fresh ice, 72 hours in the refrigerator, and then six months in the freezer. 72 hours in the refrigerator is good, so like I'm sure we'll be out of the hospital then because I'm interested and I really want to watch her do the placenta encapsulation. So we're probably just going to wait and have her do it in front of us. Maybe I can record it if she lets us just so we can show you guys how it's done. Other things we're bringing our snacks. After I gave birth with Mackenzie, I was really hungry. It was about like 12 a.m. that we finally went to like our final room, like recovery room and stuff like that. And there was like nothing, you know, the, the cafeteria was closed. So I was hungry and I was really annoyed that like I couldn't, I didn't have anything to eat. So I didn't think about like bringing snacks and stuff like that. So we're coming prepared this time. We went to the Dollar Tree, but a whole bunch of snacks. I probably got a lot of candy, like chocolate, just because I know chocolate's gonna make me feel better after everything, like my favorite Snickers, Kit Kat, Reese's, whatever. I know during labor too, the doula told us that Gatorade helps too. So we bought some Gatorade. I know she said to avoid red and blue Gatorade, just in case if I do like vomit during labor and it doesn't, if I throw up the red Gatorade, it looks like blood. <laughs> but she was just like, stick to like the basic, like yellow or, or white and stuff like that. Darius just picked up this one. I'm probably not gonna drink this green one because I think that'll be nasty if I throw this up, but I've never seen this later before, but I'll probably just drink this one. This probably for Darius. So we're coming prepared. So definitely pack snacks in your hospital bag just in case, because you don't know what time you're going to give birth and you don't know how your hospital is with giving food and stuff like that after delivery. So now it's time for Cruz's bag. And this is a diaper bag that I got from my sister. Thank you. This is from Amazon, actually. So I'm bringing his bag just to like have it separate with his clothes, the clothes that he's gonna wear and things like that. The first thing I have in here is that matching swaddle and hat set that I showed in my video. Now with this hat, I'm definitely gonna put his name on it. Haven't done it yet, probably do it tonight. So that's for pictures. I'm also bringing this breastfeeding cover up. It's also a car seat cover. It's by Milk Snob. And this is the one I, I got from Target. I know they have their own website and they have more colors, but this black and white one is fine. So I'm just gonna bring it with me just to, you know, when I leave the hospital to put it on his car seat. I also have two outfits. I have this navy blue outfit, just a onesie, mittens to match, a hat, socks, and pants. I have this other outfit that this is probably what he's gonna wear when I wear my black robe and my black nursing gown. Look how little this is. This is a newborn, so he's probably gonna wear this. And I have the matching hat with the matching mittens, some basic black pants, and some Converse socks. <laughs> I'm bringing a swaddle blanket. I'm bringing two bibs and two burp cloths, just in case. So that pretty much sums up what's in my hospital bag. I do have a note, a little magnet thing that I'm keeping on my fridge of my last minute things such as phone chargers, camera charger, our two memory cards, our big camera because we are planning on recording the birth. I don't know how much we can actually record. I think they say well, you can record the labor but not the actual delivery but we're gonna see what we can work with there depending on who the midwife is and stuff like that. My makeup bag, my letter board just in case I'll forget. Oh, I'm also bringing my breastfeeding pillow. So I had this with Mackenzie but I barely put it to use since she never latched on. So I washed it, I was just like, all right, I'm gonna put it to use this time. So I'm taking it to the hospital. This is by my breast friend. So you can use a boppy, but I heard this was like more comfortable at the time when I was 
um, doing my registry with Mackenzie. So this actually like wraps around your waist and this is like a little back support which is pretty cool so your back won't hurt. And then it comes with like a little pocket so you can put, I don't know, like chocolate in here while you're nursing <laughs> so, or the remote, I don't know. And then it has like this like hump right here on both sides so depending on which side you're nursing on so this is my breastfeeding pillow so this is staying on my refrigerator so we know well so we have like a checklist i'm sure i don't know if i'm gonna add any more to this list but for right now that is what's on my list so that sums up everything that's in my hospital bag what's in baby's hospital's bag and then of course Darius needs to pack his and I have Kenzie's packed up too. If you guys think I forgot about anything, please leave a comment down below because sometimes I'm like a little crazy. Who knows, I might have forgot something. So please leave a comment down below if you suggest anything. Leave a comment down below if you had a natural birth before, natural unmedicated birth before and what helped you. So I can add that to my little labor bag. So I really hope you guys found this helpful. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because we have a lot more videos coming your way, believe it or not, during these last couple weeks of my pregnancy. Like I said in my last video, I am doing weekly pregnancy updates. So there will be a new one this week. My camera just stopped recording right when I was about to say bye. So bye. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.